the most comparable opponent they've come across, the most pressure defense they've faced. It's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top today. And Duke in their white. Texas A&M in the maroon. That's the starting lineup for Coach Lawson and the home team, the Duke Blue Devils. Day Wilson drops it down low. Up and in. Good little move that time as the finish there from Brown. It's Kennedy Brown, the 6'6 junior transfer from Oregon State. Nice little hook shot around the basket. Bowles, Green, Jones, Barker, and Patty, and finished at the rim there by Barker. It's knowing when to shoot, knowing when you have rebounders, taking the best possible shot for your team and looking for a high-low opportunity there for Duke. It's Kennedy Brown got her player sealed up. High-low executed perfectly to give Duke the two-point lead. Setting for three and buried there by Bowles. By way of Canada. The aforementioned Day Wilson beating the press with the dribble and some quickness. Bowles has another three. Just watch this nice cut up the middle and it creates numbers. And Bowles is spotted up in the corner. That's a great pass. Keeping an eye now defensively on number 24, Richardson. Richardson has ties to can take the lead again. Taylor. Force that one. Wow. You talk about that power of Barker. She'll give it right back, though, and Taylor will finish this one. Unfortunate there after the rip from Barker. Duke up two, can add to it. Good looking shot. Duke five for 11 from the floor. Texas A&M three for seven. They trail by six, 333 remaining here in the first. Stop and pop, really nice looking shot there from number two, Barker. Hey, Wilson gets some space. Rebound Richardson with a little left. It's going to be a tough night for them. Day Wilson, great pass. A little hesitation finds Volker. Team is part of those dishes. Good job down low, tough angle. Finished neatly there. And going the other way is the baskets from Patty. Blue Devils right now doing a great job not letting the Aggies make the next pass. Good pressure defense. Barker with the step back. Wow. She kills it, drains it. Three-point shot is keeping Texas A&M in this right now. Only down five. Under eight minutes left here in the first half. Backdoor cut, Taylor. And the end one. We just have this single down screen. Pop back by DeJesus. Celeste Taylor is going to use that opportunity to post up against a smaller defender than Mackenzie Green, the graduate student, make the easy layup. And picked off by Taylor. Taylor, defensive weapon, finishes it. She's got 11. First player in double digits. That didn't hit the rim, so the shot clock is down to 10. Patty. Kind of a four shot, but buried right there by Kindred. Taylor, Balagoon, rolls off of it. Balagoon, a lot of power, good finish. As I mentioned, Coresdale, also from Oregon State, not available tonight for Coach Lawson. That's short, it was tipped by Brown. Outlet up and in, good finish at the basket by Ashlyn Jackson, the freshman out of China, Texas. Green. It's a screen, re-screen action. Green gets it back. Little runner, nice finish. And that's nice execution. Rebound, Balagoon. Balagoon will drop it over. Day Wilson back to Balagoon. Nice pass. Look at that sharing of the basketball. What Texas A&M does offensively right now. Shot clock, game clock. Ten seconds separating the two. Balagoon. Nice bucket. Balagoon starting to heat up. She's got six. And today she said it would be a good test to see what her team was really made of and the things that they really need to work Ooh. on as another long-range shot by the Aggies by Sydney Bowl. You can pop it. You can do a lot of different things out of it. You just make the read. Duke with another offensive rebound. Two chances to score. Kennedy Brown knocks that down. Women in the professional women in the community, they meet once a month at 8 a.m. and it provides women in the area a place to go. Uh, some inspirational speakers. She had Kalia Collier, who is the VP and Chief of Staff of Basketball Operations. 
got to maintain. And when you're that good of a player, you have to maintain a consistent demeanor, stay positive. And there's Booker looking for the, gets a little bit of daylight. And wow. Keem on the air talking about the impressive freshman. Let's see if she can get the block right here. Instead, she'll get the foul. It'll be an and one. And a little bit of flex right there from Day Wilson. Thought Heidi fouled. Patty, no whistle. Taylor driving to the rim. Picked up and in by Richardson. Richardson now three for nine, and she's got eight points. Oliver, that's a good play. Balagoon, I like that play. Balagoon finishes. Balagoon, <laughs> and one for Balagoon. Yeah, I think she's a player that the coaching staff was looking for um, consistency as she's in the last season of her career as well. Nice little runner for Texas A&M. Jordan Oliver now in running the point for Duke. You, lo you like her game, coach. She can score, but man, she can pass the basketball, as you can see right there. Patty. That's a nice shot. For Coach Taylor in Texas A&M. Such a different team without Janiah Barker in the game. There's a nice take by Jada Malone. Taylor decides she's not going to shoot three in a row. She'll drop it. Heidi not ready to be a turnover. Probably should have shot the three. She was open. And the other way up and in for Texas A&M. And Coach Lawson did not like that last sequence. It's so fascinating because you just never know what five you're going to get as DeJesus finishes at the rim. 67-46, nice finish from Patty. It's important to thank the person that throws the assist. Wow, step out, Kennedy Brown showing a little range. Blocked there by Patty, A&M the outlet, Bowles, yes. A&M with the transition basket, bigger, stronger, tougher opponents. Turnover. Richardson, Richardson will finish. A steal and a bucket. They needed that. Duke, two of their last eight. 71 to 52. Coach Lawson, Coach Taylor, second win in program history.